How are you doing? It's New Way, New Way. Welcome to this next video. Um, let there be light. Um, obviously, if you can tell, I'm tired. I just woke up. And uh, I was actually dreaming about me, about myself doing videos, which was very odd to me. But uh, some ideas for videos popped into my head, and I decided, why not? So, I'm going to do things a little bit different. I've got three movies uh, planned. And then I want to do one game, one video game. So, bear with me here. So, we're going to start off with one of the movies. Um, here we go. Um, this one, actually, uh, I believe was based on a video game base uh, created by a EA. Uh, I don't... There's been a lot of um, renditions of the game brought out. Hold on one sec. There's been a lot of renditions of the game that's been brought out over the years. Um, to be honest, I don't think I was ever ever to get into any of them. Uh, the one I did try to play uh, was Need for Speed Heat, I believe it was. It came out, I think it was this year. Um, I, I pulled up my... Uh, I pulled up google so i can start doing research on this but to be honest i think i'll just i think i'll wing it um so that's it but then uh they and i believe it was in what was the year i believe it was 2000 hold on you know i i at least want to make sure I'm, i i have some information so give me one second um give me a second but a movie came out they they, they brought out a movie hold on They, they made a movie um, regarding this, the, using this franchise. There we go. It came out in 2014. The movie is called Need for Speed. Here we go. Need for Speed. Now, this movie, honestly, um, you know, it stars a lot of great actors and actresses. And it uh, has a very, very smart script, very... I give, I take my hat off to all, everyone involved, director, producer, everybody involved. Uh, you guys did a wonderful job, great job. And to me, the, the thing about this movie is I remember, I don't remember how I got introduced to it, sorry to say, but um, when I saw it for the first time, I remember thinking it was a very smart movie, very cool movie. And... It, 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 it took place, uh, I believe it took place, how long was it? Because it was, hold on one second, I'm trying to, I'm trying to at least get some facts straight to you. Um, it's like, coming out. Uh, da, 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 da. Give me one second. Mm. Well, it, should, it tells me the story, but it doesn't tell me how long. But I don't remember how long it was. Well, it, it's basically the story of Toby Marshall, who, you know, has this group of friends around him. They live in the, in the town. What was the town? In Mount Kisco, New York. Uh, they lived there. His father, uh, Toby Marshall, was was a specific, you know, a race driver. He had had his own store, and this, you know, Toby and his friends, they would they would come in, they would help him. Uh, you find out the stuff that you know in the beginning of the movie. You have a race, specific race. You see how Toby, you know, gets his earnings to some extent. You notice how his friends are very, you know, one's a pilot, the other one's a driver, the other one is a tactician, all this stuff. And then one, uh, uh, what was his name? Pete, I believe it was. Uh, who is he played by? Um, by Harrison Gilbertson. Gil Gilbertson, sorry. Uh, he has this, I guess, um, he has a way of seeing visions, I suppose. And he sees a very cool vision, which is very interesting brings brings a specific thing to each of the each of the guys each of the gang 
and you notice how uh, after the first official official race, he gets hired by his uh, by one of the guys he grew, he had he was um, I don't know if friends is the right word, but I guess they knew each other in high school. They had some problems, had some fights, all this stuff. Uh, Dino was his name, played by Dominic Cooper, um, and Toby I forgot to say Toby is played by Aaron Paul, very very good actor. Um, and Dino gives him a proposition, says, hey, if you fix up this car, you know, I'll give you some money. You know, I want to make sure you, your shop runs, you know. I've noticed, I've, I've tried to, he even said it in the movie. He said that the, one of the lines is that I've been to multiple shops around the world. None are, none are as good as yours. And, he's, and Toby says, it's not just me, it's everyone here. So, you know. So they're able to make a, uh, they're able to rebuild a Ford Mustang. What what was the year of that Mustang? Uh, what was the year of that? I don't remember. It. It's not saying here. Crap! It's not saying here what year what year was that Mustang? I don't remember. But 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 that Mustang. I don't remember, but it doesn't say. I can't find it. But um, maybe, hold on. You know what? This is bugging me. What the hell? What was the year that of that car? Shit. Okay, I, I, I can't find it. But that Mustang is, honestly, I would love to drive a Mustang. Never been to in one. I would love to give it a test drive, but maybe it's not in the cards. But anyway, back to the movie. Um... With this movie, you know, they're able to build the car, they're able to get it into a plaza, you know, where they ca um, try to sell it, and it looks, you know, it's, it's it's got all these buyers around it, and then they meet the girl, then they meet, um, shit, Julia Madden, Maddon, played by Imogen Poots, uh, who is a car broker, who is a car bro broker to one of the buyers that uh, Dino wants to sell the car to. She's a broker. And they get a chance to, you know, you know, Toby and, and, his, and his friends, they get to meet her. And um, after they meet her, some I don't want to give you the full, full story. So basically, it's a lot of cars, a lot of fun. It's a lot. It's a very smart movie. If you, if you have a chance to see it, please do. You know, if you don't want to, you don't want, you don't have to. Um, I guess I'll, I'll leave you to it. But basically, there's a lot of good points in this movie. There's a lot of moments where even some of the deleted scenes, if you get a chance to see them. Um, if you get a chance to see the deleted scenes. It's, it's one of those movies that... Is able to show you a specific world, is able to give you very c cool creations of that specific world, and is able to give you very cool a very cool story in that specific world. And uh, I forgot to uh, say, uh, Michael Keaton also is in this movie, and he plays the monarch. And uh, what is it? Our a host of an underground supercar race competition, the De Leon. Excuse me. And every time I see Michael in this movie, every time I watch this movie and I see Michael scenes, excuse me, when I see those scenes, he, the energy of the, of the movie, in my personal opinion, goes, goes higher. Everyone else is doing an amazing job. It's just when I see him, there's a scene where um, he's talking in a studio Spoiler alert! By the way, he's talking in his studio, and uh, one of a uh, one of his uh, radio uh, studio call uh, radio station, and there's a caller that call, calls in and starts giving him crap, and all you know he says, you know he 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 basically says this kid's being kids. The guy keeps talking, he won't let him talk. He says, listen, it's my show. The guy keeps talking, and he goes, shut up, and it just. 
He's able to talk and, and he says, have you ever been in a race car? I thought not. Hangs up the phone. Great scene. Great scene. Um, and uh, I got to say, I, I have seen a few movies. I want to say it's how many has been. Maybe two or three. Not a few, but I've seen the movies with uh, Aaron Paul and Imogen Poots together. Um, you know, a, a, playing roles uh, diff um, in the same movie. And I got to admit that those two, those two have a very cool chemistry. To, and it's nice to see in, in this movie. And um, there has been one more. And I think there has been one more after that. But um, it, it's, it's very, very smart, very cool. And it knows what it's doing. And it gets my highest respect and highest recommendation. But... Again, if you don't want to see it, or if you have seen it, I, I wouldn't mind. I would, I would suggest seeing it again. It's just one of those cool, cool things to to watch. Um, it gets the heart pumping, gets the, gets the adrenaline rushing. It's it's very fun and very. It's just an overall good time. So if you get a chance to see it, please do. If you don't want to, whatever the case, and um, one more time. One more time, just for just for show, just to show you. Very cool. You can see. By the way, uh, this is the Mustang right here. If you got a chance. It's very cool. What does it say the year of the Mustang here? No, it doesn't. Shit. I really, I, I should look up the year of that Mustang because that Mustang is very cool. I want to say it's between 2000 to 2015. I believe. Maybe. I hope. All right. That's it. Have fun. Bye.